Well, look at that flutter on the screen right now. Now, just to be honest with you, I'm torture testing this camera. I'm on a Canon EOS 70D. I've turned the lights off in my room except for one light source. And this is a light source that happens to be my computer monitor, the 28-inch monitor. Now, what I've done here is I did this intentionally to demonstrate something. Now, I could have just as easily turned on some additional lights. You're thinking, well, that flutter you're seeing is caused by the lack of lighting. Well, look here. I've got a lot of light now. I added extra lights. The flutter's still there. Now, what's causing the flutter? The flutter is caused by the computer monitor, which uses a fluorescent light behind it. Now, that's something important. If you have an option to not use certain types of fluorescent lights, avoid them. Use LEDs if you can. But if you have a light source that happens to be giving you this pattern and you're in a panic, how do I get rid of the flutter? Well, the way to get rid of that is to first realize that a fluorescent light source is at 60 cycles per second normally. Uh, at least a lot of them are. Uh, and based on that, the shutter is too fast and it's capturing on some of its, you know, uh, one sixtieth of a second the lens is open. It might be catching one of those periods where the fluorescence on a down period because it's actually turning on and off, on and off so fast your eye can't see it, but your camera can because it's at, in this case, a hundred and sixtieth of a second. Now I went intentionally that high um, just to illustrate a point, but even if I bring this down to let's say a sixtieth of a second still have the flutter it's still there so the trick here is I'm gonna bring the shutter speed to be slower than the sixtieth of a second that's causing that and in this case I'm gonna bring it all the way down I'm shooting at a thirtieth of a uh, thirty frames per second so I'm gonna put the two nicely in harmony so now I'm shooting at 30 frames per second but I'm also shooting at 1 30th of a second and the flutter has gone uh, and some people may say well when you shoot you should always double the, the uh, frame rate go to you know either if you're shooting at 24 you go to 50 if you go shooting at 30 go to 60 well that doesn't always work and it doesn't create any problems to be shooting at a 30th um, some people think well you'll have a motion problem where you'll get artifacts or something when you move around you it does no it's doing fine it's doing fine so a 30th of a second solved this problem now I can actually turn on my lights and use whatever light sources I want and it doesn't matter whether I turn on or off the other fluorescent light I'm gonna be able to shoot fine so that's a just a quick tip for people who've seen this sort of problem and they're looking for a solution so that's the tip of the day